Hey, hey, Cal Johnson here from Prince George. We're up at Grizzly Lodge. I've never rode a turbo ever before in my life. I've rode lots of things with lots of horsepower, but this thing is unbelievable. Gets around on the snow, gets on top quick, and when you need a little blurp, yeah, got her. Instantly, fast, no delay, nothing. Just unbelievable home run that they've got here. Um, didn't seem to be a lot of money to me and for the enjoyment you're going to get out of it. We got like two feet of fresh snow here today and you just go anywhere. Um, Cal, tell us what your sled you were on before. Uh, I've been riding uh, like eight, previous to this. the 800s and the 850s and I always put a 175 track underneath them. Um, I'm 235 pounds in the shower so you got a lower weight sticking out the back so it's uh, unbelievable. Just... Uh, can't be more happy with it. Very cool. Oh, I'm glad you're enjoying it and yeah. uh, keep doing it for the rest of the season. I've been riding skidoos for 50 oh, yeah. years. So yeah, we were talking about it the other day. Well, your first uh, your first sleds. How? Tell us about the what it used to be like on land getting up to these areas. <laughs> well, you didn't really get up to these areas, but we'd ride 250 single cylinder lands, and then we went to a twin cylinder land, and then we went to the old Alpine twin track and. Uh, Played with them for years and years back in the Coquihalla. So, and for those who didn't know, eh, the the land would go up about fifty feet and turn off. The yeah, second could, one would go another ten feet and turn off. Yeah, and the, then the twin track would go a little bit further, and you just keep making circles just to get up a little wee hill. So, and then what uh, would happen overnight? Yeah, overnight you wouldn't be able to find anything. Your tracks would be gone. You'd try to get the next day. So this is a little different. Yeah, it's a little different. <laughs> it's definitely awesome. Right on.